Hello everyone and welcome back to another Good Game Empire episode. Uh, today we will be looking at the new attack screen. It's I think the fourth version of the new attack screen. Uh, again, improved and some changes which I wanted to explain to you because it's not that easy to actually understand the new way of working of this, this new attack screen. Uh, then we're gonna take a look at the new event rewards because they increase the number of tokens and of seeds in the events we're gonna take a look at this as well and uh, finally in this episode I'm also going to purchase my mid coat of arms symbol right there uh, because I haven't done it uh, for a long time and now is very very good moment to do this so we're gonna see how it changes and how it increases the production basically right so let's start with the new attack screen uh, and let me show you what has changed so first of all maybe make a espionage for our target to, to make it better example and we're gonna see the new attack screen so okay we have the report uh, that's not like important for the attack screen what is there but um, so the main change is uh, this button save for next attack uh, and it means that if it is turned on all these settings here um, and the preset we chose here is gonna be saved for the next attack so if I unclick something and feel for example, for example, I know use the eighth one, um, feel waves, maybe use this for first. If I close this and open it on another target, it's gonna be saved. Yeah, the preset I wanted to use, uh, the waves which were ticked here as well, uh, and the settings here for the auto fill. Okay, but now let's go back to the uh, target we have spied before, and let's tick all waves. So now we have um, presets is the most important thing because auto auto fill not many changes we can fill waves we can clear waves we can change settings as before but for presets there is a small change so um, first of all you can choose presets as before you can change the name but now we have three buttons instead of um, two buttons which was the case before the first button applies the preset to the first wave only so no matter which um, waves you have chosen here on the left side with those checkboxes it's always gonna fill the first wave. So let's maybe use this as an example. It's always gonna fill the first wave, even if you have ticked different waves or no waves at all. It's always gonna, you know, um, only apply to first wave. Again, um, uh, now another change is that you can delete the troops from any wave uh, with this button. So it is next to each wave if there are troops. So for example, if we apply a preset to all waves with this button, I mean, it's applying to selected waves. So if you select all waves and click this, then it's gonna apply to all waves. So you can, for example, d delete some waves if you don't want them, yeah? So this button is very handy as well on each um, wave. And oh, the, the biggest change that we can finally see the troops and tools we used uh, instead of some dump icons, which were there before. And if we um, extend the, the wave here, we can see how many tools um, we can put the he here how many units we can put and what's the total strength total bonus and so on so you can preview those important information uh, when we you know uh, expand this list and when we fold it then we can only see the, the amount of troops and tools but it's, it's better than the previous thing which only showed us like the icon if it's ranged or melee it was so stupid so now we can okay clear and start from the beginning um, the final wave, the quarter assault hasn't changed, I think, so no changes here. Um, and also we have this middle button, which does select at least one, oh yeah, we, we need to select one wave, and this means apply preset to next wave. So for example, we can go with first wave here, apply preset to first wave, and then second wave, and apply to next. So it jumps to the next wave, it ticks the, the mark for the next wave and unticks for the previous one. So we can jump with this to fill next waves. I think it, you may find it useful for Nomad Invasion if you have the same number of waves in all commanders. But for, for example, for my commanders, I have some plus three, some plus five, plus four, and so on. So it wouldn't be so useful for me because um, I can't click it the same number of times for each commander. So I don't find it really useful, but in PvP, for example, it may be useful to, you know, to fill a few waves, but I still find it more useful to just tick three waves and apply to selected waves, yeah? Just like this. So it depends how you prefer to do it, um, but yeah, we can just... The fastest way is to mark all waves, 
choose the nomad, um, sh nomad preset for all waves, uh, apply it and then choose the one for first wave and apply preset to first wave. And that's the way. You can also uh, input some troops for the courtyard assault if you want and that's it. But now a very important thing how to save presets for example. Um, okay so let's clear everything. Okay and now let's say we want to save a preset just an example. Oh, where is it? Okay second wave. We are working in second wave that's okay. Uh, let's say it's gonna be melee maybe ranged or maybe all melee here. Some tools of course. Uh, some tools. And now if you want to save it to preset, I'm gonna save it to, let's say, preset number nine. This shows you that you need to select a single wave to save a preset, because uh, in the previous version of this attack screen, it was saving the preset, the last preset you worked on. And now it works a different way. It saves the preset you have a checkbox on. So you need to only check one preset here, click on save selection, and it's gonna override. And then you can, I don't know, apply it to first wave, I don't have enough tools for this, okay. Actually I have, but I guess it's very old tool so maybe it doesn't work. But uh, anyways, you can apply to selected um, waves and it's gonna work as usual, yeah? Uh, okay, so that's how it works and that's how you save presets. I think that's all for the new attack screen. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, I'm gonna answer all of them. Okay, so I also heard that some users um, have trouble saving presets. I don't know why. what's the cause of it, um, but for me everything is working correct, so uh, if there are bugs, because many players were reporting that there are bugs with saving presets, um, then I guess they will, you know, really say a hotfix or something and fix the problems. But let's see again, like choosing some tools, tools, tools. Uh, I only have this wave marked. And as you can see, I can save selection. Uh, let's do it on this one, save selection and apply it to the next waves and it's saving. So in my case, everything is working. So make sure you only select one wave, which you want to be used for saving uh, the preset. Uh, so this way it's gonna work correctly because many players don't understand that you now only need to check one uh, wave, which you want to save as a preset. All right, so that is for the attack screen. And now let's move to the um, rewards in the event. So this is gonna be for all events which include the new um, difficulty scaling so I guess that for example Bermond Invasion is not going to have different rewards because we don't have seats there any anyways. Um, but for Nomad, um, Samurai, Foreign Lords and Bloody Crows this is gonna be the change that we've got triple the amount of seats. I'm not sure if it's exactly triple, but I think so, yeah. Uh, triple the amount of upgrade tokens, construction tokens, and seats. Uh, so as you can see, the, there is way more of these um, rewards. Uh, yeah, 18 seats, then 27, 33, 36, and 45. So in total, I'm getting like 150 seats and like, I don't know, 200 construction tokens or something. Uh, a very high number. I picked master difficulty level. So I have nine rewards, um, nine pages of reward uh, in this event. But now the numbers are pretty good to, to play the event. The tops are increased too, like this is the same. Here we have a bit more construction to upgrade tokens, construction as well, and seats, more seats as well, and seven waves. So for the alliance, actually the alliance rewards didn't get changed. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. Uh, so the alliance rewards are the same as before. Um, both the list of rewards and the rewards for top alliances um, are kept the same as before. But another change we have is the uh, Khan tablet um, shop and here we can buy seats. We can only buy five so then it's such a shame because it's very very small amount. I would recommend to increase the number for higher player, higher level players. For example, players on levels, I don't know, um, 600 can buy only like 10 but players 950 legendary level could buy like 25 maybe or something. We also have upgrade tokens and construction tokens and only can buy one package of 15. Uh, the price is very low so I would obviously buy all of them um, in this shop. Um, and also remember that if you buy them and they are sold out, um, once the, the event finishes um, the shop will arrive again and the limits will be reset. So uh, you will be able to buy them again um, it, it's not gonna be sold out. Um, you, you, will be, you will be able to buy them 
again after the event ends the shop arrives for the second time and you can buy them again same case for the dire wolves and everything which is basically uh, limited with, with limited number of uh, purchases in the shop i think there's no changes to the can metal merchant sadly because for example i and many other players uh, have a lot of those tablets uh, i mean can metals so we can buy anything useful here at the moment right so that's it for for the event uh, are very good changes in my opinion we can get more with the same effort so it's, it's great to have it um, they said that uh, they tripled the rewards but the game balances I are thinking that uh, the rewards are gonna be rather doubled than tripled um, from the from the old uh, amounts of those rewards so it's not gonna be this high number of rewards this is just testing kind of um, but it is gonna be double the amount it was before uh, so it's gonna be still more than before so it's gonna be still decent i like the tripled amount but i'm not sure if it's gonna stay in the game for long or it's just a, a guidance testing or whatever uh okay you're getting a lot of dms but anyways now we're gonna proceed to purchasing the coat of arms uh not here obviously so my old coat of arms was the sun and <laughs> the sun symbol um and it increased food production by 15 percent per one uh, piece so for for two or for a one big symbol we had 30% food increment so I need to make sure I don't have zero um, in any castle because that would kill my troops by lowering the food production instantly okay no so we can buy it and we're gonna buy obviously the best symbol in the game for more for, for now uh, for 960,000 rubies so I'm gonna be left with like 72k all right let's go and boom okay we need to confirm and now we have unlocked the best coat of arms in the game let's go uh, I'm really late to the party I know especially with this number of might points uh, without outposts because I'm holding my troops maybe uh, go back for a second I'm holding my troops uh, without outposts I mean I have 600k in one outpost but the rest of them is uh, not in use so uh, <laughs> this number without coat of arms was a bit challenging um, especially lately okay hello kitty um, so let's apply it I guess I'm gonna keep my old layout and oh, now this looks now nah, this looks bad let's go for one symbol like this or like nah. I think this one is good yeah this one looks nice and it resembles the uh, Polish flag out of arms because the Polish flag is red at the bottom and white on the top Okay, so now we are on negative somehow. What? I don't know how it works, but okay. <laughs> but now we've got um, worse food production. Oh, way worse food production. Jesus. But bigger meat production. Ah, way bigger because I was on zeros. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's gonna allow me to hold two million troops uh, easily in in Fire Peaks. Nice. So you've got to lower it to like 1.5 and 1% gives me like 25k. Yeah, 23, 24k. That's nice. Okay, even more. Like three more. Yeah. And I'm on positive food production. So overall, I'm going to be good with food production. I'm going to be able to keep more. So one. Um, yeah, like something like this. Okay. And now I have 19k plus. I had like zero. And 150 less here, so it's gonna be 720. Jesus, what's that? Okay, so now we're good to go. Um, outpost as well, 160 less, so it's gonna be uh, 750. Yep, and here 150 more actually for the main castle, so 1 million 150. Okay, okay, that's good. So in main I have a small negative, but in kingdoms now I can fit more troops. Nice. So um, it made a significant change. I'm also having now uh, more honey, more uh, like I can put a higher percentage in brewery because I freed uh, some portion of my honey production. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions regarding the event changes or the attack screen, then make sure to leave them leave them in the comment section. And see you in the next one. Remember about leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.